Welcome back to my garage. Uh, today, Mark III again. I had hoped that the next video would be suspension and coilovers, but today it's something not as fun. Today, we are going to be pulling the head because I'm pretty sure I blew the head gasket yesterday. So, the oil, I mean the coolant, looks oily, smells like oil. And there, yesterday there was some foam on the bottom of the oil cap, which is a sign of a blown head gasket. It's not really there right now, but um, yeah, we'll just pull it apart and see where it goes because it has to happen eventually. I've already got head studs to fix it, so we'll see. Just got to get it out. Might have to get resurfaced, have to buy a head gasket, and uh, we'll go from there. Now, today I'd like to do a better job of time-lapsing and documenting everything, so I'm going to try and set up a camera to just kind of record as I go, and then I'll speed it up, cut in when I pull things off, stuff like that. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, I've made some progress um, as of right now. I have drained the coolant and I pulled some stuff off. And mainly like the charge pipe, uh, some hoses for my catch can, stuff like that. And then as I said, I just drained the coolant into the pan down there. I don't know if you can really see, you can kind of see it. But I opened up the radiator. I know it's a sealed system, but I opened up the radiator and it was like a forceful jet of water. So it kind of went on the floor just a little bit, but that'll be fine.
Quick update, I've got radiator hose off, I've got the alternator off, I've got the power string reservoir bracket off, I've got the intake off, uh, batteries out, coolant strained, I already said that. Next I'm going to move on to the rear portion of the thermostat and the exhaust manifold. And then we go to the intake manifold and then I'll take the valve covers off and the head comes off. Yeah. <laughs> 
<clears throat> Alrighty, so it has been probably two hours since I last talked to you. I took a lunch break, and I've made some progress over here. Uh, okay, so I have almost all the studs out for the uh, manifold. I have all the bolts off for the turbo. I don't know if you can see that right there. Um, so I can take the turbo off. I just need to undo the downpipe, and then the turbo should come off. And then once the turbo is off, the manifold will come off. And then we're on to the intake side of the head. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. It's finally done. The turbo is finally out. It literally took me all day. So I'm gonna wait to do the intake tomorrow. Don't mind the saws I didn't actually cut anything. Uh, I had a stud that was seized in the downpipe right here. Um, it was seized to the turbo, so it would not come apart, so I had to literally pry it apart. Um, but there's a lot of extra oil down here from things leaking. There was one casualty, my, uh, that little nub right there, it sticks out. That's where my, uh, aftermarket oil pressure gauge goes, and I may or may not have accidentally broken the hose. So I need to buy a new one of this big intake pipe, I need to replace that coolant hose right there that I cut. Other than that, I didn't, I didn't do too much damage getting everything apart, but I'm about to hose this down with some foaming degreaser. I've plugged all the holes that oil goes in and out of, and uh, we're just going to hope it at least gets some of this crap off. Eh, in wrapping up today's video, I've been sitting here staring at the turbo for like 20 minutes, just because I'm tired. Um, curious if I should polish the compressor. That polish the compressor um just shine it because it's a little dirty um let me know what you think leave a comment um kind of disgruntled by how long this took but then again not much i could do about it uh all the issues i was having were things that i could not have prevented so all in all that's gonna wrap up today's video um i hope you enjoyed it Hope you enjoyed seeing the process. Um, I'm going to continue with the uh, intake side of the engine in the next video. Let me know if there's anything you want to see me do. If you like it, remember to leave a like, subscribe. Working on merch, maybe. Shipbox Garage sweatshirts. We'll see. Also, follow me on Instagram at uh, Simon underscore and underscore cars. But for now, I'm going to leave it at that. See you in the next one.